I like this pattern, I also like this pattern, but I want that to be part of that pattern. And sewing pattern hacks, that's coming up. and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen GV and we are doing a subscriber's question and answer. So this one comes from Rita May 99 and it's to do with sewing pattern hacks. The question she's more or less asking is that she has two patterns that she likes, the top and the bottom, but she doesn't know how to, you know, kind of put those together. So in this video, I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks that you can do with sewing pattern hats. Sewing pattern hats are a, it is a very large subject matter and it's, it's all about the designs that you want to change from one to the other or it could be just working with one sewing pattern but you have a design idea in your head that you want to cut into the pattern or hack into the pattern in order to create that new pattern if you like in order to have that style that you want so as I said it's quite a broad area so I'm going to give you some tips and tricks seven in which to think about when you are going through this process of hacking sewing pattern it's a great way of kind of finding your own style so um, hope, hopefully these tips will help you with that process the first tip is going to be read the envelope, back of the envelope, because it could give you information as regards um, the finish of the garment and um, garment ease. You can also find that information on sewing pattern sheets. So that would be my first advice because you want to make sure you keep the proportions and silhouettes of the pattern if that's not what you are changing. But if you're starting out, take it gradual, take it slow and remember sewing patterns have what you call design ease and you need to retain that within your pattern otherwise you're going to give yourself too many problems to sort out when you want to hack into that pattern you think number two you're going to have to do some maths it's important if you are changing around your sewing patterns and hacking into them you're going to need some maths somewhere along the line so you're going to need a notepad pencils in order to make sure that you get that information you require from your patterns so think about it in terms of this draw little doodles or sketches because that will help you visualize your pattern and also make sure you do yourself a little checklist that you're working through to make sure you cover everything and it does surprisingly does work so I would advise you to do that especially if you're starting out or even if you're not starting out it is a good process to go through if you're changing up your patterns number three measure your sewing patterns so whatever sewing pattern pieces you are wanting to change and let's say you're working with two patterns make sure that you're retaining the portion and the silhouette of the design because you don't want to change that too much because you are liking more or less most of the silhouette of the pattern and maybe it's just details um decorative you know detailing on a pattern that you want to change or you know swap over so make sure that that process is in your mindset number four you're going to need to think about seam allowance yes whenever you are cutting into sewing patterns we don't necessarily think about seam allowance it's a thing we you know we just kind of like oh right I've made it up and it doesn't quite fit but I know that what I did was right, you know, I put all the angles and curves and whatever it is I changed and it's not working. It usually is you forgot to put the seam allowance on there. So please bear that in mind. Number five, this is going to be a trick. Now, I would advise that if you are starting out to use uh, tissue sewing patterns or trace over your original patterns and make sure that the paper that you're using you can see through them because it's a good idea to put one pattern on top of the other so you can see how the design is working and what you're trying to manipulate 
So again, pencil paper will come in. I would advise even using coloured pencils as well. So that's a good trick to do is to make sure you press your patterns as well. Yeah, that's vital because you want that paper to be as flat as possible. And use sharp pencils because you don't want to add to the pattern as well. Because the bigger the, the line drawings on the pattern you are, increasing the increments of the pattern by yeah maybe millimeters but those millimeters and centimeters add up so uh, make sure you use sharp pencils and number six is going to be grain lines very important we tend not to transfer the grain lines on patterns um, and they can be a little bit screw whip if you like um, because you're making changes so remember try and retain the grain line within the pattern and if you don't if you can't for whatever reason then make sure that grain line is centered in your in your sewing pattern but don't forget it because you're going to need it it's going to work if you have your grey lines there and number seven now if you are liking the process of hacking to sewing patterns or redesigning many of your sewing patterns to find your personal style why not think about making a master basic block? And that could be also a sloper. And what this block is, it's a basic silhouette of a, gar of a garment, and then you change it to whatever style that you want. So we're talking about the basic sleeve, the bodice, the skirt, the pants, all these come from what we call in industry a basic block. And then what happens is that we slash into the um, pattern in the blocks in order to create these wonderful designs that we call clothing. So if you are that person who wants to, you know, keep on designing and redesigning certain patterns, think about working with the block. It's going to be so much easier. And I've got a bonus one for you, number eight. You're going to need some basic tools. More than likely, you're going to have tape measures. Yeah, usually more than one. And you're also going to need an L-shaped ruler and a curved ruler because we want to make sure these angles that you're drawing are at the right degree and also you want to make sure you have, you've got smooth curves and you can really achieve that with using a curved ruler. What I will do is I'll put links to the products that I've used, even though I've had mine for many years, in the description so please check those out. So that's it. Retomate, I hope this advice helps you in the process of you hacking your sewing patterns. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Do give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Do share it with your friends. Please comment in the comment box. And as I've said, in the description, you'll find links to tools, some basic tools that you will need in order to do your sewing pattern hacks. One more thing before I go, and that is hit the bell, which will notify you of um, Hit the bell which will notify you when I upload videos to the channel and I will see you next time.